What is happening guys? Welcome to the video. I'm in like a random room in a coffee shop. Just so it's a little bit quiet, but we have a different type of setting for you guys. So, Open 20.2 just happened and the results are insane for the athletes. I'm super freaking excited. So, here is the workout for 20.2. It is a 20 minute AMRAP of four dumbbell thrusters, six toes to bar, and then 24 double unders, 20 minute AMRAP. We're gonna see some cool sometimes. Guys, here's how the guys got on. I grew up as the one they threw aside Waking up every morning like the dream is do or die Never fit in, didn't live by any rules that you applied Now I'm hopping out the whip, the main attraction who arrived Never gave me any chance, not a look and not a glance Now these labels hit my phone up with a million in advance I just think about the fans, all my leverage and my stance I don't need them cause the snowball better hit the avalanche Shitting on these labels, artists, but you know that we still independent Hungrier than ever while these thirsty artists still pretending they didn't Guys, I hope you like that. People suffered on this workout. People got scores that they didn't think they would get. People got a little bit lower, but it was all about tactics. How good your skills were under fatigue. Super freaking excited about how the guys and the girls got on. First of all, the women. Okay, we've got Amel and Hind going back to back again. Consecutive opens. Amel and Hind, both first and second places on ward number one and ward number two. So, same points. Amel took seconds, Hin took first. Hin coming back again, trying to battle for number one for Saudi Arabia. As expected, we thought we'd have a battle between those two. Super freaking excited how the battle goes on, going into 20.3. Next, we have a joint third place finishes after week number two of the Open for the ladies. Anud Al-Shahiri, Zaha Amar, and Khadija morning. I'm sorry, ladies, I can't pronounce names. Anyway, ladies, I'm super freaking impressed. Anud Al Shahiri, third place previously. Awesome opportunity to go forward. Room for her. I think she has an awesome chance to try and battle out for the top three, even the top two. Also, the other ladies also doing incredibly well. So that's gonna that's the top five so far, and I'm super freaking excited about how that plays out over the five weeks. One thing though is that Amel submitted her score super freaking late, so and so did Hind even. So Anu was number one until the end of Monday night. Hind put her score in, Amel put her score in, and then all of a sudden it was this battle like who's gonna put their score in first. So I'm super excited to cap that leaderboard, the Saudi women, and just see the little fight for the number one spot. The men now, quickly on the men's side. Super freaking exciting battle once again, which I personally was not expecting, but after week number one, Rav, was he a good enough athlete to be number one's contender for Saudi Arabia? Is he a contender to be the fittest in the country? Yes, he fucking is. Monsoor taking first place in the workout to make him and Rad one and two on the leaderboard, joint number one, with both of them having a first and a second place finish in the world. Super fucking excited for it. It's actually incredible to see these two athletes battle it out for the number one spot. Still backing my friend Monsoor, of course, but Rad actually pushing the boat. Monsoor, you could have honestly just done your last score and not beat me, and you still would have won, but you know, whatever, thank you. But honestly, super excited to see how that plays out. Also, Hussein taking third place, our current champion. Super excited about how he gets on as the weeks play out taking third place overall. And then fourth and fifth, we have Muhammad Al-Harabi and Ahmed Al-Nahadi. Super excited for the top five about how Saudi's playing out. Battling for the top five there. Two things we need to look out for over the next five weeks. Amel versus Hind. Mansoor versus Ray. Who the fuck is gonna fucking win? Super excited for week number three, how the guys get on. Guys, I want you to be honest with me. Who do you think is gonna win? Lighting just changed like fuck. Anyway, who do you think is going to win, guys? I'm super fucking excited about the next three weeks. And I want you to put in the comments below for me who you think is actually going to win the Open. It's back and forth. 
Do you think Hussein can have a huge comeback of seven points over the next three weeks and take his title back? Will Amel go back to the games? Will him take her spot? Will a nude or any other, any other woman in third place take her back and go first? Let me know in the comments below. Super excited. Do not forget to subscribe. Till next time. Peace.